Eric is, is for me, it's, it's too easy. It's, you know, you can do these kind of things. Yes. They're kind of looking interesting. Let me look at, let me see if there's a consistent body of work here. Okay, now we're getting into it. Let's see. judge a picture almost by how difficult it was to make, you know, and how unique. And then and then you have someone looking at the camera, which shatters suddenly there's someone looking at the camera, the pictures of people not looking at the camera, the pictures of people without pictures without people, the pictures without a moment. And then we have two looking at the camera, three looking at the camera. Then we have that, okay, which is very colorful and everything, but it's a kind of you have to ask yourself how many photographers could walk by here and take the same picture, you know? Uh, because you want to take a picture that no one else can take. And the only way you can do that, well, that's kind of interesting, but you know, if it was part of a series of people and food that was, you know, consistent, okay? And here, see, this is, and it's all, it's interesting, you know, uh, in, you know initially it's a design kind of picture, but it, it's not enough, you know. Uh, and you know, any one of you, if you have any questions or comments, and see, oh, well, so many of these pictures, this is so so simple, you know. It's like there he sits looking at the camera. Mm. Uh, he's right in the middle of the frame. Mm. Uh, if you had forty pictures like this of people this age, maybe in their environment, mm. it would it would be even more interesting because. But now I'm I'm sort of all over the place. Mm. See, and then I have this thing off the TV. Mm. Okay, and then I have this. So, so you have to make up your mind who you are, you know. Mm. Uh, uh, like, let's see. Let me look at this one again. Let's see if I get that. Dominic, why don't you come sit over here next to me because you can help me uh, do some things that. So, I mean, that's an interesting picture. If if that person were like maybe if there were two people here, mm. see, and, and uh, if there was uh, if there was a, a boy and a girl hugging there, mm. okay, you know, see, yeah. it would be it would be so rich. It would be just a moment, mm. you know. See, okay, so that's that set. Let, now let's go look at uh, let's go look at suits. Okay. And I, I find that's a, that's a very interesting picture, a nice picture. I think this is very interesting, mm. you know. <laughs> uh, and so uh, it has a kind of a <laughs> strange feeling about it, right? You know, uh, and, and these pictures, these were your uh, the pictures I saw in the submission, and 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 they they got you the scholarship, okay? And and they are they they are so. Sort of, have the same kind of feeling. They're, they're kind of slightly surreal. Don't you think, class, uh, so far, you know? And, uh, and these, uh, these were judged, these pictures, actually, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, ju I wasn't judging them because I was, I was too busy. Do you know, do you know who judged them? They were judged in London and under the supervision of Fiona Rogers, who is a director of the Magnum International Education Program, you know, see, and it, and it was, it was administered by the London office, but you know everyone is it's international now because everybody's on the internet. And, you know, see, see that that's uh, see that's just that's just interesting. It's so beautiful, and you know it's uh, now here he's looking at the camera, which is a little disturbing, but he's got a, a wild and that wild look. Uh, and, and this this fits, you know. It's it's uh, see, it's, this fits. Is that what is that a shade there? Um, it's a it's a, it's in Tokyo. It's a smoking booth, and it's just like a a white piece of window film, uh -huh. window film that covers 
people's faces, I think. Uh-huh, uh-huh. See, that's, that's very yeah, nice. It's like a telephone booth. That's very it's like nice. a smoking booth. Very nice. Yeah, that's, that's a nice surprise. Nice surprise. See, it's like it's nothing. It's nothing, but it's, it's something, and it's sort, of, it's sort of surreal. I mean, you know, some of these pictures are better than others, uh, but, but overall, they, they kind of fit together, see. Uh, you see you're seeing ordinary things in, a, in an extraordinary way, uh, and that's what you want to do. You know, the other set was like, I see those kind of pictures all the time, you know, of signs and color and everything it's it's uh, every everybody can anybody can do them everybody's doing them you know now with digital cameras and, mm. uh, and, and the color is just brilliant and all that mm. so so that you know that's a worthy set mm. and it's a worthy beginning of a big set you know mm. if you can if you can maintain that vision you know and look for those kind of pictures see then then you you will end up with something and you will probably you, you might have to, you know, work on it steadily for like a year. Uh, I mean, the, this thing doesn't happen in a matter of weeks, you know. Uh, uh, but but it's, it's very satisfying to be on a path and to, to know sort of where you're going and to, and to believe that, that there will be an end in sight when you will have maybe 30, 30 images that will be interesting to look at. It will be sort of offbeat. Uh, okay. okay. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Eric, would you say that uh, the American series that you did has more of your street portraits and less of your sort of street photography aesthetic? Is that, like, it's, it's sort of a, I see it as a blend of street portraits and uh, urban landscape work, whereas the suit seems to be more traditional street photography than I see it. Yeah. Who's next? I mean, I think it's like a, who? trying to be more artistic in the sense, right? Right, right, yeah. yeah. Now, now, who has portfolio reviews for 